a double pronged news for you today. Some good, some bad, depending on your outlook. This news is going to change very quickly. West Ham have got a game today and I just think there's a lot of mileage in the transfer window stuff. I think what's going to happen between now and the end of the transfer window is going to be so compressed. Everyone else has basically had a lot longer to do their transfer dealings. West Ham have compressed their trading time uh, to... Well, it's almost a bare minimum, really, haven't they? So I think we're going to see a really busy uh, next little while. Uh, so uh, Skamaka uh, to Atalanta, uh, which is relatively new news, actually, broken by Fabrizio Romano. It was always going to be Roma or it was always going to be Inter Milan. And it just seems like Atalanta have, have come in uh, with, well, not just an offer, an, an agreed deal with West Ham, actually. I'll get to the details of that in a second. The other one's Edson Alvarez, of course, a Mexican midfielder, plays for Ajax. Uh, talks ongoing, but it appears Alvarez wants to come to West Ham and the wages part of it have already been agreed. I think the good part about that is you don't get to do that unless the club give you permission. So obviously Ajax must feel that the deal is close as well. We'll, we'll get we'll get to both of those. Let me just tell you what Fabrizio Romano is saying this morning as of Saturday morning. There's a game today, as I say, all the news will change an awful lot today. Um, so on the... Skamaka one, Fabrizio says, uh, Gianluca Skamaka to Atalanta. Here we go. Documents being prepared as West Ham will sell the Italian striker. 25 million euros fixed fee, 5 million easy add-ons. I guess he means they're easy to achieve. So I think we're looking at a 30 million euro deal here. 10% sell-on clause included. Medical test booked in Italy. Player travelling later today. Done. Sealed. His words. So that's that. Uh, let's get to the Edson Alvarez one. He said, West Ham hope to close Edson Alvarez deal this week in order to get it signed in the next few days. Negotiations will take place with Ajax a deal on. He said deal on again. Uh, Alvarez agreed personal terms with West Ham as revealed here on Friday. Edson wants to move. Right. OK, let's rewind back to Skamaka. This whole thing has been an absolute farce. It has to be said from start to finish. I don't blame Skamaka for wanting to... Uh, to leave. I think feel there have to be serious recriminations on this one, actually. I, I, I'm sort of past trying to discover and investigate who signed him. I almost don't care. Somebody did, and somebody needs to really be culpable for this. We are very, very lucky to be able to get so much of our money back on this player, because it, it didn't work out. He didn't fit our system. We we paid, I think we paid £35 million for him. Now, some of that would have been based on add-ons, I guess, which he won't have triggered. He won't have scored the necessary goals. Maybe there was an add-on there for winning the Europa League, uh, Conference League, maybe something like that. I would imagine the outlay is probably about £30 million for Skamaka. For us to be getting €30 million Euros back plus 10% sell-on, we've, we've actually we've, we've got a lucky here. We, we've got away with one a little bit on this deal. And... Um, but who signed him? And this, this is just more of the Vlasic stuff. This is not good at all. I think the thing that worries me most about this uh, Skamaka deal is it took us 18 months, 18 months to identify this striker and go and get this striker. And now we find ourselves in a situation where we're going to go and need to get a striker again because we already have a situation where Antonio wants to leave. I think that's that's well established. And you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say what I think from now on. I'm annoyed with myself for backtracking on this Skamaka thing when I and I am wonder if Fabrizio Romano is as well because he got a lot of stick for saying Skamaka wanted to go. A lot of people jumped on him. And you know what? He did want to go. It was obvious that he wanted to go, Skamaka. It was obvious you can see from his body language. If someone wants to stay, they don't say all those things about Roma. They don't say these things about Jose Mourinho, the fact that there was a little bolt on at the end, which was basically saying, oh, you know, actually, yeah, you know, you know, come on you irons and all the rest of it. Um, and I, I intended having a good season at West Ham. The man changed his agent and he wanted out at a club. And, and sometimes you just got to, you know, trust the evidence of your own eyes. I mean, I, I'll, I'll say this now. Lucas Paqueta's changed his agent. If the club don't buck their ideas up, he's going to want to leave as well. And he's going to he's going to want to see good players coming in. And I'll tell you what, I actually do think this Edson Alvarez won. Will, will really help on that one. But anyway, anyway, I digress. My point is on Gianluca Scamacca. How, how did we manage to say, spend 18 months highlighting him as the chosen one, yet he was so obviously unsuited to West Ham's style of play? Now, look, I say obviously, I didn't know, because I didn't know anything about Scamacca, really, before he joined West Ham. But I'd like to think, had I have watched Scamacca over a long period of time, I would have been able to say... He won't fit David Moyes' system. Um, 
Mikel Antonio. That's, that's, sorry, that's, that's what I was talking about before I went off on a tangent. Look, he he wants he wants to leave. That's that's clear. You know, um, even Antonio said that Skamaka doesn't fit David Moyes' system. We, we cannot have a season. I've got high hopes um, for a divine Mubama. I really do, but we he cannot he cannot lead our attack as a main striker all season. And I just don't think that Danny Ings again he doesn't suit our system. So where's that leave us? We now need to buy a striker. Look, we will get to that. We needed to buy a striker anyway because this was always going to happen. And now we've got a bit of a problem. So let's say this is whatever. Let's call it twenty five million pounds, right? We already had 105 million. I know. I know we don't get it all in all in one go. But you don't. When you spend it, you don't spend it all in one go either. So let's say we've got now 130 million. Well, we couldn't spend the 105 million. Um, we were struggling already to get Declan Rice's replacement. How much confidence do I have that we're going to go and get Gianluca Scamacca's replacement? I have no confidence at all. I, I don't, I'm not even entirely sure this. There's anyone capable at a club of doing it. Now, don't get me wrong, actually. I'm, perhaps I've rephrased that wrong. It's not a capa an, an incapability to do it. What, what it actually is, is enough of a structure there. So even, even if someone at the club has identified a new striker, do I think the club are capable of going and making a sign? No, it, it's, it's a mess. We are terrible at making signings. Anyway, so that's what I think about Skaka. I think it's a massive shame. I think he... In the right system, I think he would have been a brilliant player for us. Watch him go now, all right? We're, we're going to see Sebastian Haller again. And, and when I say that, I mean he's going to go off and he's going to go and score goals and he's going to do really well. And, and what it is, a damning indictment of West Ham. And if you are a striker, an upcoming striker, you would possibly look at West Ham and you'd look at Haller. And I've said it before, I said, you know, you'd look at Chicharito, you'd look at Skamaka and you think, I, I cannot thrive there, I cannot cannot thrive at West Ham. And you know, look, I don't want to say this because I'm, I'm a West Ham fan. I want West Ham to do well. But I'll tell you what, if I wasn't a West Ham fan, if I was an agent or I was players representative, whatever, I'd be saying you cannot go to that club. You, you As a striker, you cannot go to that club. And, and I just think it's a massive failure. This is almost it's like the... It's, I was going to say this is the poster boy for West Ham's failure. It might be Heller. It might be Philippe Anderson. It might be Blasic. There's any number of them that could almost be the, the poster boy for West Ham's transfer failings. And Skamaka's one of them. I, I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm really annoyed. And I think, and do you know what? I don't think we'll ever find out who's fully responsible for it. Um, you know, I, I don't know who signed him. Whether maybe it was Moyes that signed him, maybe it didn't. Uh, Moyes has some culpability here because he he's so stubborn in his system that he, he can't seem to sort of bend it and and uh, manipulate his system a little bit to accommodate players like Haller or Skamaka. It, it's, it's terrible. It, it, I, I really do. I, I'm very, very annoyed about it, as you can possibly tell. Uh, Edson Alvarez, this is much better news. Much, much better news. Uh, I, I don't know what the bigger picture means on this. And when I say the bigger picture, I'm not, not sure how... If what this means for Ward Prowse, I know it's a different player, obviously entirely different player, and or, or McTominay or anyone else, but I think this is good news. Twenty-five-year-old player, um, promising player. He's, he's well, hopefully he'll get better. He's good already. I think this makes absolute sense for West Ham. If we need to get this done before the Bournemouth game, this this guy goes straight into the first team. And I think this is really, really important that we do that. And actually, I talk about Paqueta. I am very worried about Paqueta at the moment because he's, he's so good. And at the moment, basically, Lucas Paqueta is too good for the way West Ham are behaving in the transfer window. And I mean too good for the West Ham that won the Conference League. But, the you know, if you draw a line after that Conference League and you look at the way we're operating now, you know, these, these top-class players do not, like this, so I think him seeing Edson Alvarez coming in, he'll be really, really happy about that. I think so. Someone like Paqueta does not want to see journeyman pros coming in; he wants to see the team progressing. And I think you know this is a this is a really, really good start. And I hope this is indicative of the remaining transfers that we're going to make. I hope we are going to be getting players like this. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to have done it to death. Who's signing them? Tim Steiten or, or David Moyes or all the rest of it. I don't, you know, in, at this point, I don't really care. I don't, I don't care whose name, <laughs> whose name is on the document or whatever the case may be. I just want us to sign players. I want us to sign good players, and I do believe this is a good player. So it's sort of double-edged news, um, you know, double-edged sword, really, isn't it? You know, a give if any, take if away. In that sense, Edison Alvarez, um, you know, sort of welcome to West Ham. I think the biggest thing I can say about Skamaka is it doesn't feel like. 
I'm annoyed, but it doesn't feel like a loss because I don't feel we got the, the best out of him. It doesn't feel like we're losing Jared Bowen. And it's a real shame that he never got to become that. Skamaka never got to become the player he, he could have been at West Ham. And it's, it's, as I say, it's going to be painful. It's going to be painful. He's going to score some goals in Serie A. He's going to score some goals for Italy. And... Um, and maybe he gets his move. Maybe the 10% sell-on clause is, is a wise thing to do. I actually think the deal, I think we've done... I actually do think we've sold play as well this season. I have to say, I think we, we did a really good deal for Declan Rice. I think we've done a good deal for Skamaka, given the circumstances, all right? Have we done a good deal? Bear in mind, we, we, we've lost after a year, no. But if once you appreciate in terms of an asset, he has damaged goods, we were always going to take a loss on him. I think we've mitigated that loss quite well. And I think if he does get another, I think he probably will get another... We'll see, 23, 24. He probably will get another big transfer um, in his time. And if he gets that and we're getting 10%, we may well find that we actually get our money back on Skamaka. Bearing in mind, as a transfer, he's failed. Uh, I, I think we'll have done all right. Selling's one thing. We, we appear to be selling reasonably well. Uh, got money from Masawaku, of course, as well, didn't we? But buying is a, is another matter entirely. And we've got serious problems here. Uh, people need to get the deal done. They need to get it sorted. Uh, the game is fast approaching, I guess, technically. The uh, start of the season starts today, doesn't it? So, yeah, going to be really, really interesting. Anyway, I expect the news to change throughout the weekend. There you go. Gianluca Skamaka's leaving. We think Edson Alvarez is coming in.